The Newsroom, The Revolutionary War, and Grover Cleveland are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is June 24th, 2022. It is the 175th day of the year. We got 190 days left in 2022. It's the 25th Friday in the 26th week and the fourth day of summer. Three months till fall. If today's your birthday, you're still a cancer. Today is World UFO Day. World UFO Day commemorates two separate dates. The first one was on June 24th, and it recognizes the first widely reported UFO sighting on this same day in 1947 by aviator Kenneth Arnold. On July 2nd, the date commemorates the incident that took place at Roswell, New Mexico in the same year, 1947. Before 1947, written records of humans sighting unusual and unexplained objects in the sky existed. However, after the Arnold and Roswell incident, reports increased dramatically. There's a show called uh, Penn and Teller's BS, basically the real words they use it though. They broke down sightings of UFOs and how the aliens looked and their ships looked through the decades kind of mirrored what was going on in Hollywood. So if they came out with a new movie where the aliens had four eyes and a mouth on the top of their head, you'd start getting sightings for the next few years of aliens that look just like they did in the movie. All right, let's see what else June 24th has given us. 1779, the American Revolutionary War, the Great Siege of Gibraltar begins. This was part of the American Revolutionary War that didn't happen in the United States or in America or whatever you want to call it back then. The colonies, whatever. The Great Siege of Gibraltar was an unsuccessful attempt by Spain and France to capture Gibraltar from the British during the War of the American Revolution. It was the largest battle in the war by numbers of combatants. Gibraltar is on the southern tip of Spain, right at the Strait of Gibraltar, where the Atlantic Ocean meets the Mediterranean Sea. It's the closest point that Europe is to Africa, near Tangiers, Morocco. This was the second siege of Gibraltar by the Spanish, and this time they got help from the French. It lasted from June 24th, 1779 to 7 February, 1783. Yeah, they'd been there a while. Finally, peace talks started after that. During the siege, 333 British and their allies were killed, 138 wounded, 536 to 1,034, somewhere in there, they're not sure, became sick or dead from disease. For Spain and France, over 6,000 were killed, wounded, captured, or considered missing, unknown, sick, and dead from disease. So it was very costly for the French and the Spanish. But it's really strange. Most people think that the American Revolution only happened on the North American continent. No, it stretched out a little bit. 1880, the first performance of O Canada, the song that would later become the national anthem of Canada, happens. 1916, Mary Pickford becomes the first female film star to sign a million dollar contract. That was big money in 1916. That would be over $25 million in today's money. 1938, Pieces of a meteorite land in Pennsylvania. The meteorite is estimated to have weighed 450 metric tons when it hit the Earth's atmosphere and exploded. 1949, the first television western, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is aired on NBC. 1957, in Roth v. the United States, the Supreme Court rules that obscenity is not protected by the First Amendment. 1973, the upstairs lounge arson attack takes place at a gay bar located on the second floor of a three-story building in the French Quarter of New Orleans. 32 people die from fire or smoke inhalation. 1975, Eastern Airline Flight 66 encounters severe wind shear and crashes on final approach to New York's JFK airport, killing 113 of the 124 passengers on board, making it the deadliest U.S. plane crash at the time. This accident led to decades of research into downbursts and microbursts phenomenon and their effects on aircraft. 2012, Death of Lonesome George. He was the last known Floriana tortoise in the Galapagos. Now, this is an interesting story. Back in the day with whalers, pirates, whoever, they would take the tortoise 
from the different islands throughout the Galapagos, and they'd put them in the hull of the ship because these ships would sail for a very long time. They'd run out of food, but tortoise could last six months without food or water. So they would put these poor things at the hull of the ship and then just eat them as they went along. They don't have to feed them. They don't have to give them water. They were a perfectly preserved food source. So a few of the islands, Floriana being one of them, their subspecies of Galapagos turtle was extinct. That was until they started genetic testing some other tortoise that were on another island called Isabella. At the base of this volcano called Wolf Volcano, there was a community, group, whatever you want to call it. They started doing genetic testing on them and found out that these were actually Florian tortoise from that island that they thought was extinct and Lonesome George was the last one. Now, they don't know who did this, when they did this, why they did this, but they assume it was maybe one of the whaling ships that had put some tortoise in the hull. They were going to use them for later and maybe needed to make room for more whale blubber or oil, whatever they were doing. And while on the island of Isabella, they just dumped their tortoise there. Now, there is one group of these tortoise that is extinct. They couldn't find any genetic link to these tortoise to another island tortoise called Pinta. So they figure those ones are gone. These days, all the ones from Florian Island, or not all of them, but they have some of them in a breeding facility and they're testing them and all that stuff to make sure the species continues. Premiered on June 24th, 2012, The Newsroom. One of my favorite shows on HBO ever. I mean, I love The Wire. I love The Sopranos. Uh, Silicon Valley, I love that. This one I've watched several times through. There's only three seasons of it, but it's a behind-the-scenes look at the fiction Atlantis Cable News and their new head anchor, Will McAvoy, who's played by Jeff Daniels. This show had Sam Watterson in it, Jane Fonda's in there occasionally, Olivia Munn. There was a few other actors that played, you know, maybe three episodes, seven episodes. One of my favorites is an actress named Kellen Coleman. She played such a great role in this thing. I was kind of sad that she was only in it for seven episodes. It's definitely worth binging. Born on June 24th, 1916, William Saxby, outspoken attorney general under the Nixon administration who led the investigation into the Watergate scandal. He was also a U.S. senator from Ohio and a U.S. ambassador to India. He was the fourth attorney general to serve under Nixon. The first two were implicated in the Watergate scandal and the third resigned in protest over the stonewalling of his investigation. He kind of blew off Nixon's claims of ignorance to the whole thing. He described Nixon as being like a man who played piano at a brothel for 20 years and then claimed he didn't know what was going on upstairs. Died on June 24th, 1908, Grover Cleveland. He was the 22nd and the 24th president of the United States, who was the only Democrat elected president during the 1861 to 1913 era of Republican domination. He was known as a prankster and an avid sportsman. He was also known for his unimpeachable character and integrity. He was the only president to be elected to two non-consecutive terms. His second term, unfortunately, was derailed by the Panic of 1893, something from which both he and the country struggled to recover from. He was succeeded by President William McKinley. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, and be nice to each other.